Watkins, Director of Transportation for the Capital Metropolitan Transportation Authority in Austin, Texas. As a public agency, Capital Metro takes very seriously its need to serve the community. When Capital Metro could no longer afford to offer free fares for our riders with disabilities, we learned that some of those riders had difficulty paying the cash fare. Capital Metro's Board of Directors was very interested in using the smart card to solve several problems that had come to our attention. The problem was that some folks who were boarding were unable to pay the actual fare itself, the, the dollar for the day pass or 50 cents for the ride, because they did not have the physical ability, the dexterity, um, the, the use of their hands that would allow them to actually put money, coinage, um, into the fare box itself or to swipe the fare box with another form of payment. I am Nancy Crowther. I am with ADAPT, and ADAPT is a grassroots civil rights organization out to help uh, protect the rights of people with disabilities. The smart card technology helps people like myself who have limited reach um, because of my disability. I cannot swipe a fare card on the fare boxes. So when we found this problem, we worked together with Capital Metro and came up with a smart card that helps us to be more independent and free to ride our accessible system. The smart card technology allows us to program fair media into something like that looks like a credit card, something that looks like a wristband or a keychain, whatever is most appropriate for a customer to use. It contains that payment information that when tapped on the fare box or presented near the fare box, it validates that the customer has a valid fare. The fare boxes that we have on the bus now, when we originally purchased the fare boxes, we bought them with a smart card reader with the intent that at the in the future, we would be able to find a, a use for smart cards. People with all manner of disabilities will benefit from me the use of the smart card. It just makes it a lot easier for them to pay a fare, um, whether it's that they can't reach the fare box because they're in a wheelchair and it's just too far for them to reach. Um, they don't have to get right up on the target area because there is some distance. The smart card will engage you know, as far out as six inches, maybe even a foot. Um, so they don't have to hit that target area dead on. So the independence of being able to ride on our system, it gives them a sense of confidence um, that they can do this and do so independently without assistance and without having to look to others. And that just makes them feel better about the travel experience in general, makes them feel better about taking the fixed route system, makes them feel better about Capital Metro, and makes them feel integrated um, and a part of this vibrant community that we have here in Austin. The new smart card that we're implementing for disabled riders will allow our most vulnerable population to continue to use Capital Metro services every day. Capital Metro is proud to be able to provide this service to our community.